Hello friends, this video on differential equation part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Now we'll learn a new topic altogether where we have to form differential equation where general equation solution is given. So till now what we had done, we had solution given, we verified that the particular solution is true for the equation. Now it's other way around. We have the solution given, we have to find the differential equation. For example, we have this solution given x square plus y square is equal to r square is all the circle where 0 is 0 is my center and r is my radius. Correct? x, y is any point. For this I have to find a differential equation. The cache here is if it has one variable extra variable r, I'll differentiate one times. So let's differentiate this guy. So x square plus y square is equal to r square. This becomes 2x plus 2y dy by dx is equal to 0. Or you get y into dy by dx or like this. dy by dx is equal to minus x by y plus some constant you can say. So this is what you get. dy by dx is equal to this guy. This is my equation. So what you have seen there was one variable r. So I differentiate one times to that to eliminate this guy r. That guy is gone the moment I differentiate this guy. And I got one equation dy by dx is equal to minus y by x. And this is my differential equation which I got from this solution. So the general rule is if I have my equation, general solution, this is my solution which has one variable, I will differentiate one times and I'll equation like this. If I have two variables, I will differentiate two times. For example, this guy I have x square plus y square is equal to r square. In the last examples only, I differentiate this guy and I got dy by dx is equal to minus y. Right. Let's take one example where you have two variables. So let's suppose we have this guy equation y is equal to sine of x plus b. Or you can take this guy also, this example for this scenario where you have one variable that is m. So to, to get this, this is very simple, you just say differentiate this guy, this becomes dy by this becomes m, and this is my differential equation. This guy was my solution and this guy becomes my differential equation. Let's take this guy exam, this example, uh, this scenario where you have two variables, y is equal to sine a sine x plus b. So I have two variables a and b. So in this case you will see that I'll have to differentiate twice to get rid of these variables. Let's differentiate this becomes dy by dx, a is constant in any way, sine becomes cos x plus b, right? So I have this variable still. Let's again differentiate this guy. This, this becomes minus a sine a x plus b. Sorry, x plus b only. Correct. Now if you see that this guy minus sine a x plus b is nothing but minus pi. So the equation I got is d square y by dx square plus y is equal to 0. And that is my differential equation I got from this solution. So this guy is my solution and this guy is my equation. So what I have done? I had solution I got differential equation. Let's take one more example where we have to form differential equation where we have been given this solution x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So this equation is nothing but a solution. Right? From this we have to form a differential equation. So what we can do is here also if you see there are two variables a and b. So we know that we have to differentiate twice and remove these variables actually. So this is nothing but if you write 1 by a plus y, you differentiate this guy with respect to x, right? So what do you get? 
x by a becomes 1 by a because 1 by a 1 by uh, x becomes 1 plus y by b becomes 1 by b into d by by dx correct and this becomes 0 so what I have done I just differentiated the whole thing with respect to x so x by a becomes 1 by a y by b becomes 1 by b into d by by dx and 1 becomes 0 so what I got dy by dx is nothing but minus dy. If you double differentiate this, this becomes 0 because this is constant. So I get d2y by dx by And that is my answer. So very simple provided I just differentiate this equation twice and I got this equation. Let's take one example. Again, this is a solution. From this, we have to find a differential equation. Y square is equal to a b square minus x square. Two variables, so we may be able to differentiate twice. Let's differentiate once and see what you get. Y square, if you differentiate, becomes 2y dy by dx. Correct? Is equal to a b square becomes 0 actually this guy becomes 0 right b square is become 0 as a is constant here minus x square becomes 2x correct that is nothing but minus 2ax see a into b square becomes 0 and minus ax square becomes minus 2ax correct so what you get is y into d by by d it is y dash is equal to minus ax this is my first equation correct 2y dy by dx is equal to minus 2x 2 to cancel you can say this becomes y y dash is equal to minus ax let's again differentiate this so this becomes y is constant differentiate y dash becomes y double dash plus differentiate y becomes y dash and y dash is constant is equal to minus a that's what you get correct now I have two equations, one is this and one is this. With this, I can remove the value of a, right? So if with this equation, if you see, a is nothing but y, y dash by x minus. Correct. So I'll do this with this two. I'll remove the value of x. A. So what you get? This is nothing but y, y double dash plus y dash square is equal to minus a minus a is this guy y y dash by x correct so if you solve this this becomes x y y double dash plus x y dash square minus y y dash is equal to zero and that is my answer so it was not a difficult correct we just had this equation, we had two variables a and b, we knew we have to differentiate twice. We differentiated one, we differentiated twice. Now from these two equations, we removed the value of x and then we got this equation. So let's solve this example. y is equal to a e to the power 3x plus b e to the power minus 2x. So here there are two variables a and b, so we have to differentiate twice, right? So let's differentiate first. You get y dash is nothing but 3a e to the power 3x minus 2b e to the power minus 2x. Similarly, y double dash is nothing but 9a e to the power 3x plus 4b e to the power minus 2x. So if you see, this is my solution actually. This is my solution. But this is my solution. But there's a problem here. What is the problem? The problem is that there are two variables, a and b. We have to find the value of these variables. To do this, we have two equations, if you see, which is in terms of a and b. So from these two equations, we can very well find the value of a and b. And we'll put this value in a and b, this equation, third equation, final solution. And then we'll say this is my differential equation. I can say this is my differential equation. Correct. This is my differential equation I'm looking for. 
So the only thing here is you define the value of a and b by these two equations. To find the value of b, I just multiply this guy, the first guy with 2 and add. So let's do this. So this becomes 2y is equal to 2a e to the power 3x plus 2b e to the power minus 3 2x and this becomes y dash is equal to 3a e to the power 3x minus 2b e to the power minus 2x. Add this, this becomes 0, this becomes 5a e to the power 3x and this becomes 2y plus y dash. So with this I get a, this whole thing, e to the power 3x is nothing but 2y plus y dash by 5. Similarly, to find a what we can do is we can multiply this whole thing by 3 now and subtract. So this becomes 0. I'll get this part. So I'll get multiply the whole thing by 3. The first equation you get 3y is equal to 3a e to the power 3x plus 3b e to the power minus 2x and this becomes y dash is equal to 3a e to the power 3x minus 2b e to the power minus 2x. Let's subtract these two. To subtract these two, this becomes 0. So this becomes 3y minus y dash. Correct. And this becomes 5b e to the power minus 2x. So what do you get? b e to the power minus 2x, which I have to find for this value, is nothing but 3y minus y dash by 5. Correct. So I have this value and I have this value. Now let's put the value in the equation. You get y double dash is equal to 9 into this guy. This guy is this value here, right? 2y plus y dash by 5 plus 4 into this guy. This guy is this guy here plus 4 into sorry. This guy becomes 3y minus y dash by 5. Correct. And if you solve this, you get y double dash is equal to 6y plus y dash. And that is my answer. Correct. So not a difficult question, easy to solve. So let's thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.